Hey guys, it's Ashley from Relogeek.com and founder of Relo Academy, an auto transfer broker training course designed to take your business from rookie to pro, and you're watching Relo Geek TV. And today's question is all about service fees. I get asked so many times by my students and by just people like you who are just watching my videos who want to know, how do you figure out how much to charge for your service fee? Do you copy what everybody else is doing? Do you pull a number out of thin air? Or do you really have some type of math mathematical formula for calculating your service fee? So if this is something you struggle with or if this is something you want to learn more about, then you're going to want to keep watching. Okay, so when I first started my business, I kind of just threw a number out of thin air. Yes, and that number happened to be $300. Now, I bounced back and forth between $200 and $300 in my business plan when I was trying to figure everything out, but the number that I ended up settling on was $300. Um, it just felt right, and that is an important aspect of figuring out what to charge. Now, a most important aspect is figuring out how much your bills are. You need to know how much you're paying every month for your auto transport business just to survive. Then you need to figure out how much you need to make per year for your own employment. You remember, this is a job. It's not just a business. This is your job, so you have to be paid too. So you need to know that. And then you also need to figure out how much you're going to be charged, approximately how much you're going to be charged in taxes. You're going to think, how many clients can you realistically convert per week? So for instance, a safe number I would say is if you can convert three clients per week, then you know, you're going to multiply that times 52 weeks in a year or however many weeks you plan to work. And then um, don't forget to account for the slow season because there is a slow season from November to March. So you got to account for that. And once you have that number, whatever that number is, then you're going to divide it by how much money that you needed. So remember, you calculated how much money you need to make per month and multiply that by 12 months. Then you're going to calculate how much you want to make per year. So if that's $50,000, you're going to add that to how much you need to make per month. And then you're going to multiply that by 24%, which is your taxes, and add that number to the total. And whatever total number that you get, you're going to take that and divide that by however many cars you think you can move per year. And that's how you figure out how much you need to charge per car just to get those same goals. Now, you might come up with a crazy number. So let's just say you did the math and you came up with like, I don't know, $500. Now you have to think, can I offer my clients $500 worth of services? Meaning, can you justify charging $500 to your clients? Is there something that you're special, did you do differently? Are you specialized in a certain area? Maybe you have direct access to enclosed drivers, or maybe you um, have this whole client experience that is so astonishing that you know that you can definitely market your services and collect $500, then you charge that. However, if you think it's a little high, then, then you figure out either A, I'm going to take less money um, for my total amount that I wanted to make per year, or I'm going to have to start moving more cars. And it's as simple as that. That's the mathematical way to figure out how much to charge. The other way is to just go with your gut. Do you feel comfortable charging $150 per car? Do you think that you can make a profit out of charging $150 per car? Can you pay your bills with charging $150 per car? If it all seems to feel right, then you can charge that. For me, my magic number was $300. It felt right, and I had absolutely no problem getting an app from clients. So, again, it's all about how well you market your services, what feels right for you, and you're, you being able to convince clients that you're actually, what they're, that they're getting a good deal for what they're paying for your services. I hope that helps in figuring out what you should charge for your service fee. The number one thing that I'm going to say to you before we get out of here is do not copy what anybody else is doing. Just because everybody else is charging $200 does not mean you need to charge $200. If everybody else is charging $500, that does not mean you need to charge $500. I don't care if there are people charging $25. You still can make money. No matter what number you want to charge people, it's your job to just convince people why they should pay you that amount. And that's simple as that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share this video with all your friends on any of your favorite social media channels. 
And if you're ready to sign up for an auto transport broker training program, then what better time than now? Head on over to reloadacademy.com where I will teach you how to take your auto transport broker business from rookie to pro in as little as eight weeks. And not only that, you're going to eliminate the guesswork and make money sooner. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Ashley from ReloadGeek.com and this was ReloadGeek TV. I will see you next time. Bye.